Howdy folks, welcome back. Here we are at the 28th of May, and we got a nice quiet sun, no activity today. And it's my theory that this is how the sun normally looks, and the activity that we have when there are no stellar cores passing by, or coming off the side of it, or going over the top of it or anything. So, since the sun's quiet today, we're going to continue with our tutorials. So here we got you back at 2012, and I want you to watch this feature come out here that I refer to as the Dragon's Claw. And uh, we'll let the loop run a couple of times. You can see it over on this one, too. And it looked like it ripped off a lot of material off of the sun as it passed by. So one more time, and then we'll go through this frame by frame. Um, you can see it on this side, and it's very pronounced on this side, too. Okay. Now, as this starts to emerge from behind the sun here, I want you to note this perfectly round shape right here. And then you can also make out what appears to be a conduit of material that's attached to it. And we'll start going through this frame by frame. As this draws out, now note here this curvature on the back side. There seems to be two objects. One here with a little smaller moon type object in front of it or next to it drawing material off as well. Here you can see material draping around the front object and then this is drawing material off and you can make out the curvature on the back. And there's the next frame. And the next frame. And it, doesn't it start to resemble a type of a claw-like feature? And you can still make out the, the curvature on the back side here. And then in this next frame, if you look over here, here's our object with the curvature on the back side right here. Then there appears to be a secondary object back behind it because I see curvature here. So there's three, two to three objects, maybe one even in here, that are drawing material off of the sun. You can see it in this one too. There's curvature right in there. Seems to be an object right here and another one right in this zone right here. Take one more frame. One more, and you can see that this is still here, this is still here, there's one still here, and maybe even another one growing up in this, or, you know, emerging up in this area, too. You can even see the instrument reacting to these objects that are in there. And it pulled a lot of material off the sun. And you can see over here, this is still all bright. Usually it dissipates by the time it's made it this far out. It's not this bright. So I want you to notice that. Real quick back. See this claw type looking feature here? Okay, put it back into motion and slowed it down a little bit so we can watch this feature as it comes off the sun. One more time here. Okay. Okay, here we are at 2013 with another one of these claw type features coming off the sun right down here. Let's watch the loop again. Notice how there's all sorts of stellar cores passing by. There's one, two, three, four, and then this thing down here. One more time. I'll even slow it down a little bit. Right down there. All right, here we go again, like last time, with a nice round feature coming off the bottom of the sun with some material already connected to it, and we'll start going through this frame by frame. 
as it comes out you can see this little circular object is what's going to be our our claw and you can see curvature on the back side of this and it looks like it's even swirling around this object right here and then here's the conduit of material that it's drawing off the sun the claw and it has a nice little shape to it you can see how it drapes around the front of it here even has a little hook type feature to it next frame next frame Let's back it up one because there appears to be another claw type feature over here. I see curvature here and right here with more ejecta clinging to it as it comes off. Let's go through it again forward now. Yeah, you can see something there's right here and one right here. And notice how bright this still is when it's way far away from the sun. That's still just glowing hot on fire and it's that far away from the sun still. Okay, go forward a little bit. Okay, let's put this back into motion so you can see it again. And note all the different activity. It's not just that one thing. There's other objects over here coming off. You can see material draping around them as they come off. And then here comes this one. Boom. Okay, here we are 2012. And watch this activity real quick. You can see an object coming off the top here with some debris tails, this umbilical cord type attachment to it still. We got stuff blasting off the side here. They're almost a full halo blast right there. Look at this object. You can see it's debris tails and it's little thing. So as we continue through this one, look at this object. And then over here, you'll notice another one of those claw-type features coming off and wrapping around this object over here. Right here. And you can see material passing over this, this core as it moves by. See material wrapping around it and going past it? Okay, here's a little list I've compiled of dates when this activity happens. I believe that we're rotating around these bigger objects. These objects are bigger than the sun, so maybe they're not rotating around the sun, that we're rotating around it, and that we enter a region of space in a, in a sequence here. Now notice how these are the years as they increase, and here's the months as they decrease. So that tells me this period is getting shorter and shorter and shorter as we go down. And uh, the last one we had was in August 25th of 2018. And I've projected that we'll see more activity starting in August around the 15th, maybe as early as the 10th of 2019. So I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I love you all. And I'll see you next video. God bless.